Good morning and welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for Tuesday, the 29th of October. Morning prayer begins on page 79. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we, we confess, confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what, what we have done, and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. <laughs> Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. <laughs> Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to, to the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him in songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it. In his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our neighbor. For he is our God. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Psalms and points for today are Psalms 41 and 52. <laughs> Happy are they who consider the poor and needy. The Lord will deliver them in the time of trouble. The Lord preserves them and keeps them alive so that they may be happy in the land. He does not hand them over to the will of their enemies. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and ministers to them in their illness. I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies are saying wicked things about me. When will he die and his name perish? Even if they come to see me, they speak empty words. Their hearts, heart collects false rumors. They go outside and spread. All my enemies whisper together about me and devise evil against me. A deadly thing they say is fastened on him. He has taken to his bed and will never get up again. Even my best friend whom I trusted, who broke bread with me, has lifted up his heel and turned against me. But you, O oh Lord, be merciful to me and raise me up, and I shall repay them. By this I know you are pleased with me, that my enemy does not triumph over me. In my integrity you hold me fast, and shall set before your and set me before your face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, from age to age. Amen. Amen. You tyrant, why do you boast of wickedness against the godly all day long? You plot ruin. Your tongue is like a sharpened razor, the worker of deception. You love evil more than good, and lying more than speaking the truth. You love all words that hurt, O oh, you deceitful tongue. Oh, that God would demolish you utterly, topple you, snatch you from your dwelling, and root you out of the land of the living. The righteous shall see and tremble. And they shall laugh at him, saying, This is the one who did not take God for a refuge, but trusted in great wealth and relied upon wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will give you thanks for what you have done and declare the goodness of your name in the presence of the God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. When the unclean spirit had gone out of a person, it wanders through waterless regions looking for a resting place. 
but it finds none. Then it says, I will return to my house from which I came. When it comes, it finds it empty, swept, and put in order. Then it goes and brings along seven other spirits more evil than itself, and they enter and live there. And the last state of that person is worse than the first. So will it be also with this evil generation. While he was still speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers were standing outside wanting to speak to him. Someone told him, look, your mother and your brothers are standing outside wanting to speak to you. But to the one who had told him this, <clears throat> Jesus replied, who is my mother and who are my brothers? And pointing to his disciples, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 10. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord, for he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens, and return not again water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed, and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the last. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom be come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never open vain. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity. And that we may obtain what you promise. Make us love what you command. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your Son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time all nations and peoples may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, you led your holy apostles to ordain, ordain ministers in every place. Grant that your church, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, may choose suitable persons for the ministry of word and sacrament, and may uphold them in their work for the extension of your kingdom. Through him who is the shepherd and bishop of our souls, Jesus Christ, our Lord, 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. It's time I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, Father, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all of you. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah.